Welcome to another delightful episode of Warframe God Builds featuring the master of paralysis, Vauban. As I stated earlier, Vauban is the master of paralysis. He runs around making everything float in the air, unable to attack at all. This makes him great for assassination missions, exterminate, mobile defense, defense, interception, whatever. Now it's just a crying shame if you haven't been playing as long as I have, because I remember a day back when arcanes were an actual helmet, and so I'm using the arcane esperate helmet which increases my power max but I take a hit on survivability with a loss of shields. Now that's not going to be very important with this build. No, not at all, because we're going to complement that with a rage and a vitality. For obvious reasons. Prime continuity and prime flow are also obvious reasons. But the most critical aspect of this build is the handspring, the repelling bastille, and the range mods. And the reason for this being is because the handspring is going to make it so whenever bombards, scorpions, ancients, whatever knocks us down, we get up within a millisecond of being knocked down and we keep our heads back in the game. The repelling bastille is really important because of the sheer size of our bastille. It's to the point where some of our teammates might walk into the room and just be like, holy shit, that is a big bastille. That's what she said. But the reason why my Bastille is so big is because I do like to run my Vauban in raid missions, and I'll throw out a total of four Bastilles before the entire map is completely coated in them. And another helpful thing with the Repelling Bastille is it's going to throw any enemies that are trying to get in the Bastille completely out of the range of it if the Bastille is full. So what this means is it has a certain capacity of enemies that it can hold, and everything else is just going to get flung and have damage da dealt unto it. Now for missions where you're really going to try to bunker down for the long haul, I chose to use Tonkor. And the reason why I chose to use Tonkor is because of, oh my god, the crits. And the massive explosion size. You can't go wrong with the Tonkor. I may actually be featuring it in another episode because the Tonkor is so powerful. But for missions on the go, I chose to use the Sonicor. Especially if I'm running a capture mission or maybe an excavation because every time I have to deal with enemies but I also have to navigate through the map, anything that the Sonicor doesn't quite kill is going to be blasted almost out of the map. In some situations I've seen Grenier launch into outer space, which is always hilarious. This build actually isn't quite ready for a god builds video however i thought i might show you this really expensive six form of build because it's gonna go the long haul it has my seal of approval <laughs> for my melee i would recommend akin brunt now if you're a fan of silver nagus i'm just gonna have to tell you right now that it's not gonna go the long haul sorry silver nagus fans I know that it looks a lot cooler than Akin Brunt, but Akin Brunt is one of those things where you do get damage, you can equip this immediately, and it will block all other incoming damage. Now it will drain stamina in order to do that, but it's going to keep you safe long enough for you to get that life strike off, and that's really what's important with this build, is anytime you are damaged, you can throw up a steel and hit one of the poor unfortunate souls that are trapped in your gravity well. Last thing I have to say about this build is that as long as you're paralyzing enemies and holding them still so they can't do anything about it, you might as well be capitalizing on that companion and getting your scans in with your codex using the Helios. Again, Animal Instinct is a mainstay. You're gonna have to get used to putting this in every single companion because I find it to be crucially important. Now on a final note, Helios is actually the only one who can use the Deconstructor. So I actually took the time to farm all the dual stat mods, that way I didn't have to be greedy and give all the dual stat mods to my melee and not, in turn, give it to my companion as well. So we're actually not sharing. These are just my second set of dual stat mods. 
so you might want to take the time to look up the drop tables in which they come from and get these mods as quickly as possible. All in all, Vauban is going to be the instant easy button, even more so than the effective commercial from Staples. One could even argue that, if you have a Vauban, why have anyone else? So if you like this episode, as always, thumbs up, share, comment, and the recruitment details, as always, is going to be in the description. Until the next time, Seed Beer Prime.